and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be headed out to the barn, so I thought we could do a little barn get ready with me. Um, I am back home right now for spring break with my family and Penelope and our new puppy. Either way, I'm very excited. Um, the weather here has been a little crazy. Uh, our arena is still like covered in like four inches of snow. So my barn get ready routine looks a little bit different than when I'm back at school with the indoor um, and a drug arena and arenas that I can actually use and ride in so um, let's get going first things first I thought I would show you all what I will be changing into and wearing to the barn so um, for my top I will be wearing the Lululemon Swiftly Tech long sleeve 2.0 y'all see me wear these in literally almost every video I absolutely love them um, they're just so nice and fitted without being restrictive um they're breathable comfortable super easy to layer especially in the winter when i'll be wearing jackets and vests and heavy coats and whatnot they're super sweat wicking they don't hold the scent of sweat and i love them and along with that i will be wearing my carrots affinity ice fill full seat breeches i have a few pairs of these and i am obsessed uh, while they are definitely made for more summer, spring, warm wearing, they're super nice to layer. So if you ever want to wear leggings underneath, um, they fit really nicely. This material isn't restrictive in the slightest. Um, it's not thick, but it's also not thin to the point where it feels like it's going to rip. I love these. They also have a grippy full seat. Um, I will say, I don't know if it's just that I rode in a freshly cleaned saddle or what, but the saddle coloring it definitely rubs off on the pants and it doesn't come off super well, um, but regardless, I love these. There are also two inch belt loops all the way around the pants, um, so that way you can kind of put a belt in, makes you look a little bit more professional, nice, and put together. And then I gotta have a little matchy matchy, so today I'll be using this green and white um, C4 belt. St. Patrick's Day was a few days ago, but I promise that's not the look I'm going for. And then that also will match really nicely with my little Debaku hat here, so. Now that I am all changed, I am ready to start getting my face and my hair ready. Although it is not super warm or hot or sunny out right now, we do have a lot of snow, which means that the light will reflect the snow, which means it's quite easy to get sunburned. So it's always important to wear sunscreen no matter what time of year it is. Lately, I've been loving the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This is an SPF 35 sunscreen. No matter what time of year it is, skin protection is super important. Um, the Glossier Invisible Shield is a great sunscreen that is super lightweight, um, really nice, especially for the barn because it's not sticky. So I feel like the dirt and dust doesn't stick to my face as much as a thicker, heavier, creamier sunscreen. Skin protection is super important no matter what time of year it is. Um, put it all over your face, your ears, wherever you might be getting sun exposure. Um, and a hat is also great. And you can't forget deodorant. Um, I always, sometimes I question if I really need deodorant when I'm gonna be going to the barn and getting sticky, stinky anyways. I also hate knowing I could have done more to feel more fresh and clean. So deodorant is a must. I literally keep deodorant in my backpack, in my car, everywhere. Gotta have this. As far as makeup and whatnot goes, normally I don't really wear any. Um, if I'm going to class or I'm gonna be filming a lot of the barn, I might. Um, kinda just wanna get my face a breather. My acne's been doing decent lately and I put mascara on this morning, so I think I'm just gonna leave my face as is. Um, but 
If I were to put on makeup, I always like to curl my eyelashes and I really like the CoverGirl Full Lash Blue Mascara. And then for like foundation and whatnot, I use the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. This is the lightest weight, sheerest foundation tinted moisturizer, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever used and I love it. I don't like the look or the feeling of really heavy um, cakey makeup, so something just really thin and lightweight that just kind of evens my skin tone is enough for me. And then if I'm ever feeling like I want a little bit more coverage, I'll go ahead with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer. This is a liquid concealer that is amazingly pigmented um, without having a drastic difference between the parts of my face that were concealed and the parts that weren't. So it's super blendable, super, super easy to layer, um, and I love this stuff. Aside from that though, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my hair in a little bun beneath my hat. If I were to be wearing a helmet at the barn, um, I'll do something similar and then when I get to the barn, I'll do a classic hair tie with my hair net over that and then a scrunchie on top of that. I have like pretty long hair, I'd say, um, and it's pretty slick and thick. So finding like a scrunchy hair tie combo that holds my hair in place while I'm riding has been hard, but I finally mastered it. So um, if y'all wanna see how I do that, I can show you in another video, but you may have already seen me do it before. That is pretty much it for my barn get ready routine. I will typically throw on some lip balm um, and then I'll throw in a little jacket and whatnot when I get to the barn along with my gloves. But that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I will have everything I used and mentioned and whatnot linked down below if you're interested um yeah i hope you have a great day and i will see you all next time peace out bye